I'm Steve. I'm Alex. And we're going to build a 38 foot wooden sailboat from scratch. And mostly from local materials and local businesses. And then we're going to take it around the world. And live on that baby. That's going to be great. <laughs> The project is going to take place here in uh, rural Reston, Mass, right at Steve's home. We're going to be building the boat right outside, right in the front lawn. The boat is 37 foot 6 inches on deck. It's 30 feet on the water line. It displaces 25,000 pounds. The backbone and the keel are made out of white oak. The planking is Atlantic white cedar. The decking will be white pine. The mast is spruce. It's catch rigged, which means it has two masts, a main and a mizzen, one in the front, one in the back. Uh, it's got five berths, so five beds, uh, as well as a wood stove and a gas range, a fridge, a freezer, a head, which is the toilet, uh, even a shower. So it's like an RV on the water. I get asked a lot where I'm building the boat. People think that I'm going to rent a warehouse on the edge of the ocean to do it. And when I tell them I'm building it in Western Mass, over 100 miles from the nearest ocean, they're a little flabbergasted. The benefit of doing it here is I don't have to, we don't have to rent or lease any property or facility. We have the trees locally, um, we have all the materials and resources to do it right here in Western Mass. So far we've made an access road back to where the white pines and the white oaks are that we need for the boat. And we've milled some lumber from that and built a wood shed so that we can store and dry the wood. And we're going to do all the sawmilling back there, we call it the wood yard. That's where all that wood working will happen. Uh, and then we've put together the wood shop and acquired the tools that we need. So we're pretty prepped to get constructing on the sailboat. So we're going to be dropping the trees ourselves, milling the lumber ourselves. Steve and I have the website up and uh, Facebook. And at this point what we're doing is starting a Kickstarter so that we can actually get the project rolling. And um, then we'll be working on the actual build of the boat, which will be working on the pouring this lead keel, uh, building the structure over the boat, lofting the plans, um, and I'll be recording the entire process uh, from start to finish, and we'll be using the videos on the Patreon site. Steve and I have known each other uh, for about 12 years now. Uh, we met in Unity when we were both going to college there, uh, and this boat project has kind of evolved from just our adventures. I'm really excited to do this with Alex. He's going to be a great partner in all this, and uh, I really hope I don't kill him. <laughs> I can't believe I convinced him to go on this crazy endeavor with me. He must be insane. Steve is the one person I would trust to build a boat from scratch with. Um, you know, I've watched Steve drop trees. I've seen him mill the lumber. Um, I've seen the work that he's already done in the shop, and he's the only person that I would trust building something like this with. I'm really psyched to be doing this project with Alex. We've known each other for over 12 years now. We've worked together, we've lived together, and I couldn't do it without him. I can build a boat, I can cut down the trees, I can mow the lumber, but I can't make videos, I can't put it on the internet, I can't make a website, and Alex can. So. Combined, we are the perfect team for this. I'm really, really psyched to be doing it with them. We both worked construction together, so we're not really worried about the build of the boat. I mean, I'm fifth generation on the farm. I'm building it with my great, great, great grandfather's hand tools from the late 1800s. We've already got uh, views in over 30 different countries, and we're really excited about the support so far. But uh, Arabella is small enough that we can put it on a low boy trailer. So when the time comes, I'll get somebody to come into the yard with a crane and pick it up and put it on a trailer and we'll drive it to the ocean. So we've discussed all kinds of things that we can give back to our supporters, including coasters, uh, embossed with the logo, or stickers, t-shirts, um, anything that you know you guys could be interested in that can make you feel like you are involved in this project. We want as many people involved as possible. We're excited about this project and we want you guys to be interested as well. I've always thought that someday I would build a boat. Someday I would have a shop, someday I would have access to a sawmill and I would cut down the trees and I would build a boat and take it around the world and it turns out someday is sooner than later. We're just excited to be able to bring the videos to you so that you can follow along with us and um, we may need your help to do that. I don't have anything tying me down other than my dog and my chickens and I can take the dog and I can eat the chickens. So, Are we doing this? We're going to do this. Yes. All right.
Whatever you're ready. Smile. Ah! <laughs>